Really excited today to talk about the future of television because a lot has changed in the last few months. As we are early in 2022, we're hearing a lot of companies that uh, produce content talk about providing ad-funded options. In fact, recently we learned from Netflix that they, after years of saying they would never do it, are considering uh, uh, using ads as a way to bring on more subscribers. I wanna reiterate why I've always said that this is inevitable, but I especially wanna talk about what this means for the future, because this is great news for advertising, and it's even great news for connected television. So let me try to succinctly explain why this is inevitable. So first of all, content is more expensive than it's ever been. The fight over subscribers is more competitive than it's ever been. And the consumer can't afford to pay for all of these different subscriptions and extract ads out of all of them. If you look at this from Netflix perspective, you know they've been uh, uh, climbing, getting as many households as anybody ever has in a streaming service, uh, uh, but it's plateaued over the last year or two. So what they're in the business of doing is trying to get as many subscribers as possible, and some users would rather not see ads at all, and they'll pay more to have that. And some users would say, oh great, I can pay half as much or even nothing and get access to the same content if I just see a certain amount of ads. Well, fantastic, I'll sign up for that as long as it's free. Yeah, free meaning you pay by seeing ads. Uh, uh, so I believe the future is choice. It, clearly that's what Netflix is telegraphing. I believe the exact same thing will be true of everybody, whether it's HBO, Disney, everyone. I think eventually we're all heading in that direction. By the, uh, the second half of 2023, everybody in the US CTV streaming wars, in my view, will be offering consumers that choice. So let me talk about why I think that's really good for the, for the ecosystem and what I think this means for the space. First of all, Netflix has historically been something of the pace car. They have set the velocity for the entire industry in streaming. Everyone in traditional television has viewed them as the leader and they have to catch up to getting that number of subscribers as quickly as possible. They've always been a, a sort of a digital first company. They could really become the gold standard of creating a very tight uh, uh, consumer experience with a light ad load and a great uh, a degree of relevance in everything that they provide that I think once again can set the pace for what everybody else uh, uh, needs to do. What has not been made very clear yet and should be is that advertisers are moving their budgets from user generated content into premium content as quickly as the content becomes available. If now you can do what television has never done at scale, which is provide relevant ads, you really create an opportunity uh, 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 for advertisers to do the most effective video advertising that they've ever done before. In, over the last 10 years, most of their video advertising has been done on user-generated content, like YouTube and social networks. But what advertisers have been looking for for a long time is how can I provide relevant ads and be really selective about who I show them to while getting the benefits of premium television and premium content. As a result of all these changes and this move towards giving consumer choice, we are really creating the very best CTV ecosystem that could be created. And I'm really excited about what this means for advertisers.